All right, this video is about the channel called We Are The Overcomers. I'm gonna call it We Are The Overcomers. Three Rapture Nonsense, because that's what it is. In Ephesians chapter 4 here, I'm going to read a few verses. Starting at verse 4, going to verse 5. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. There's one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. So what we are, the, we are the overcomers is trying to say that there's just three raptures. And he says that there's a difference be between the bride of Christ and the body of Christ. You know, and I understand that these guys are trying to look at patterns and make these doctrines up. And what he does is go to Genesis, how the bride, Adam's wife Eve, was pulled from his body. So you have the bride and the body. But then read Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians 2 verse 11 wherefore remember that ye being in times past gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hands that at, at that time you're without christ being aliens from the commonwealth of israel and strangers from the covenants of promise having no hope and without god in the world but now in christ jesus ye who sometimes were far off are made near or nigh by the blood of christ for he is our peace, who hath made both one, keyword one, in all of these things I'm reading, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished it in his flesh, the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. There is one, 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 one mentioned all over in Paul's epistles. One. No difference between the Jew or the Gentile. But now this guy's trying to say that there's a difference between the body and the bride. It's one. They're one. It's all one. And besides that, he's still preaching pre-tribulation rapture nonsense. I made plenty of videos about this. And how the only way that you can get three raptures is... By extrapolation. What is extrapolation? Extrapolation is taking something and making it something much larger than the scriptures actually say. Putting man's interpretation on it. For instance, if you see like Enoch in his rapture, you say, well, that rapture was a picture of the church being raptured up pre-tribulation. Well, you have no basis or foundation to say that. You simply have your own ideas and interpretations. Now, I understand that the Bible, God does reveal mysteries and patterns and numbers and things like this. But to the extent of what some of these guys are saying, they're taking it way too far and there's really no foundation for what they're saying. Just like this whole thing between the bride and the body are different. No, they're one. Everything is one now. That was one of the points of the cross, as Ephesians chapter 2 said. The point of the cross was to make the Jew and the Gentile one. But God wouldn't go through all that trouble and say, well, now that I made them one, I'm going to separate again within this one and make the bride and the body separate. No, he wouldn't do all that. And he says he didn't do all that. One body, one faith, one Lord, one baptism, spiritual baptism. So these guys are coming up with these doctrines. I told all you guys I'm going after all these guys who are in the community of the rapture watchers, I guess you can call them. Um, and I'm going at them respectfully. So, but they are off. And we are the overcomers. Also says, I received another vision. I received another dream. Going off of dreams and visions. Going off of uh, hearsay and his interpretations on other scriptures. When the scriptures don't say that. Listen, you got to watch out for guys like that, man. Because in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 9, it says, Here in the last days, that Satan will have all power, signs, and lying wonders. He can tamper with people's dreams. He can mess with people's heads. He can do all types of things to people. And let alone, they can send their people in to corrupt Christianity, which is what has happened. Make no mistake about it. When all this is over with and done with, and we're at the 
we're with Christ. We're going to find out some interesting things about how many of these guys are actually, you know, plants or agents sent in to corrupt. And watch, you just watch. A lot of people are going to be surprised how many there are. So again, this is against all of We Are The Overcomers 3 Rapture nonsense. And the bride is not the body nonsense. It's all one. And he's using man's interpretation, visions and dreams, woo, to, you know, back his theology up. And it's, it's false. Paul talks about one rapture. One! First Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 14 through 18. Everybody knows it. And, of course, you know, to go along with that, 1 Corinthians 15, verses 50 through 54. But, of course, many people believe that those two are at the same time, which... It seems like it would have to be at the same time, because if you're going to go up in the air to meet Christ, your body has to be changed and glorified in that sense. So they kind of have to be together. So, again, one rapture, one body, one faith, one Lord, one baptism, not two. God didn't join them together just to separate everybody again. That's it. God bless. No pre-tribulation rapture. Pre-wrath. Wrath is not tribulation. Thank you very much.